Well, but are, what are you saying? That, that, that So I, I guess what I'm saying that is... That the old that folks will still go to the movies and the young folks <laughs> no, will No, actually, the, the, the truth of the matter is, is it's the young folks that are going to the movies mm -hmm. in many cases. And that's you see the movies are geared for the young folks in uh, terms of the yes. product that's out there. <laughs> but it, there's room for both. Uh, you, you, I think you have to have a thriving theatrical market. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I, that's the kind of the buzz, the intellectual heart is what people talk about. But I think that without this home video and aftermarket and and use of the internet and the alternative forms of seeing stuff, right. then the market will not grow because more and more people have a million things to do. In the 1940s, recreationally, movies were about it. Yeah. Think about it today. Yeah. There's just no, a million things absolutely. to do. So, uh, well, but, you can you can also l legally download a movie to your iPod and watch it when you're you know driving. drive driving. Well, no, right. hopefully not. <laughs> but you can watch it, or you can uh, for those those who are cable subscribers or uh, other Direct TV or yeah. other forms of things. TiVo you can, and DVR. You, you can you can get movies that mm -hmm. way as well. And so, in combination of both these things, I think you need the theatrical market, and I think you have to have the the home video market as well, and uh, uh, that's not only here but around the world as well too. Um, what about your background? Because I mean, it's myriad the the different areas you have to uh, look at at all times in your job. But what about your what in your background specifically geared you for this job? Was it your experience with intellectual property? Was it your ex just your experience in Congress and understanding Washington? Maybe it was your experience with the Intelligence Committee. <laughs> yeah, probably not. Was in that background. Um, well, you know, it's funny. I have like uh, I used to say. Well, what people say. What did you know about this job? And I said, Well, I used to grow popcorn, and now I sell it. Exactly. So you know, that's, right. this man here, Gus Schumacher, used to help me raise <laughs> corn. Right, you know, um, <laughs> agriculture. Uh, but uh, and then Jack used to say, Well, Glickman's perfectly suitable for this job because he knows a lot about manure. You know, that was his line that he would tell all the time. That sounds like something he'd say. That's did, right. did, did he play a role in um, your being chosen for a the job? A very big role. Okay. I would not what have this role? job. His role was basically, he said, Glickman would be a good choice, and that's the role. So I got, I mean. Did he come to you first before he said Glickman would be a good well, choice? Well, actually, I'd heard about the opening, mm -hmm. but uh, uh, and, but I knew Jack. Everybody in Congress knew Jack. Everybody, and, uh, yes. And, and uh, my son had also... Uh, uh, went to film school at USC. This long predated me in this right. business. And my son went into the film business and and was involved with uh, a, a lot of successful movies. And so Jack always kind of felt like he helped get him started a little bit. Although my son, I must tell you, did this all on his own. Uncle and it was Jack. it was uh, uh, and uh, so when the when the job became available, uh, uh, Jack found out that I might be interested in it. And that's and we, he took it from there. But there must have been. Um when you talked to him, when you really got down to it, what were the things you talked to him about that the job would involve? And well, I think what uh, there were a couple things. One is is that uh, this is a big export business. Mm -hmm. Movies are is the the film business in, in film and television, but really film and related entertainment is the only business in America that has a positive balance of payment surplus with every single country in the world we do business with. Yeah. Only one, yeah. not agriculture, not airplanes, not software. Movies, the, and there's movies. a real reason for that. Is because we're the heart of the film movement in the e world. Even the people who hate us they, like our movies. And not only it's an interesting phenomenon. The last couple of years, you know, there are more people have hated us than perhaps yes. did before. <laughs> yes, I'm aware. And yet, it does not seem to have impacted uh, That's so interesting. box office overseas. In fact, overseas box office has tracked American box office yeah. almost identically, even the last couple of years. And to give you some idea, we sell more theater tickets and DVDs of our movies overseas than really? we do in the United really? States. So this is a big export business, and <laughs> the fact that I had been involved in agriculture, which was also sounds almost a, like the tobacco industry in a way, but that's uh, another subject. Yeah, I, I, no, we can talk about that later. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. Uh, but anyway, uh, uh, but agriculture was a very big export business, uh, and so the involvement in international issues, I think, was important in this right. job. That. I had been involved in the international trade agreements and, you know, did some of that. And so uh, I think that was probably helpful. And the fact that it's been 18 years in Congress and had been on the Judiciary Committee, yes. I think that was also helpful. Um, but it, you never had any doubts. You knew you wanted it. Well, uh, 
you know, I mean, I when I heard that Jack was leaving, I mm -hmm. think that there were a lot of people who thought that would be a very suitable job. And um, there were probably a lot of people who wanted the job. I think so. Uh, although they they had a normal. Uh, Site, a normal selection process they who, went through. Who hires you? The, the board of members, the seven movie companies? Yeah, there are actually six of them now. Six, there were six, seven back who, then. Who, who fell off? MGM, which was then uh, basically sold and okay. changed its uh, method of operation. They're back now, but they're not a member Can of Can somebody MGM. else join if they not, wanted to? Uh, yeah, they can. They have to pay their equivalency of dues. It's, it's what? Yeah. Millions a, a of lot dollars. Of, a lot of money, yes. They can afford yeah. it. I'm yeah. not going to shed a tear. Yeah. All right. Well, you can. I'm not. Um, I wanted to read something that you said. I think this was probably right when you got the job. You said, um, one of my closest friends in Congress is Sam Brownback, and uh, he and Joe Lieberman have issues from time to time with the industry. I told Sam, I disagree with him on a lot of these things, but I'm willing to keep an open door with them. Frankly, that will be the key to my success, Maybe, making people believe I have two ears and one mouth because I need to listen twice as much as I talk. That will help resolve and deal with these issues. Has it worked out that way? I'd say pretty well. Uh, I'm not a terribly ideological guy, mm -hmm. nor am I one prone to pick fights with people unnecessarily. Um, and uh, there's where Jack's leadership, I think, had a lot to do with it. He was always very respectful of people on all sides of the equation. The only person he'd get upset about is if you attacked Lyndon Johnson, right? <laughs> that was it. Okay. <laughs> but beyond that, he was respectful about, uh -huh. about everybody. And uh, I've, I've learned that you do not burn bridges, you don't make enemies, and so um, you, can be dis you can disagree without being disagreeable. And a guy like Brownback, who, you know, he's from my state, we disagree on fundamentally almost everything, but we get along fine, and that's the way well, it ought I'm, to be. What are, the, what are the issues they have with the, with the movie industry? Uh, well, you know, I mean, they being... Uh, well, anybody who has an issue up on the hill, what are, what are the chief issues... Is it sex? Is it violence? Is it smoking? What do they, what do they get riled up about? I, I'd say in recent years, uh, uh, first of all, most of the Congress has been supportive of our issues. Mm -hmm. If it's international trade, exports, right. uh, dropping barriers to our product overseas, there, there have been periodically issues raised about indecency, uh, uh, particularly indecency. on television. Mm -hmm. uh, about violence and sex and language in movies. Yeah. Uh, but we have a rating system at the MPA yes. that we run ourselves. Uh, um, it is an independent rating system that was created in the 1960s to avoid government regulation, government censorship of movies. By and large, it works very well. An overwhelming majority of the people are supportive of it. We get criticisms periodically. That movie should have been an R and not a PG-13. We've made some changes in it. Right now, if you, if you look at the ratings on movies, they will often show on the descriptors. This movie is rated R because of A, B, C, and D. That's new, trying to give people more information. Right. We added smoking as a factor in the rating system last year so that if you have pervasive smoking or smoking that's unrelated to the subject matter, that would be noted in the descriptors and could affect the rating. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, so the system is uh, somewhat resilient. Um, it's fairly simple, too. We we're always pushed to, we'll make it more nuanced. And right. the thing about it is that system is designed largely to help parents decide if this movie is suitable for their kids or not. And it's not a perfect system, but we decided the more complicated we make it, the less yeah. likely people are going to want to use it. And there are other systems out there, too. The there are other ratings boards and systems, and some of the religious community has theirs. Right, so right. those those can be used well, by even, parents as well. I mentioned IMDb before, but they actually have a component on their site where you can go to sort of what parents need to know, and in an objective way, not giving away plot, they tell you all the incidences of violence or sex that you might anybody might want to know if. And, and, and that is either. actually, parents ought to use our rating system as a kind of a first place, not necessarily a the last place. place yeah. The other thing we do is we, if, if, if you want to get your movie rated, you ha we have to approve all your advertising. Oh. So uh, in a sense, you know, so, know so about 25,000 pieces of advertising a year go through the MPA. So that means trailers on television, uh, could be trailers on the Internet, that could be newspaper ads. And, of course, these are only for movies that are rated. Now, this, this, how, how many are on your staff? Uh, and, and, well, we, uh, we have a, over a couple hundred, but in these issues, there are about 15 raters and about 10 people in are the advertising system. Are they based here system. or in Those LA? Those people are based in L.A. LA yeah. So.